Hi guys, it's Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who need to find her redo. And I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, hard goods, and making YouTube videos. So today we're here for money. Money, what I made for the month of June. And I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna tell you um, like what I sold on each one of the platforms. And then I'm gonna break down those sales and tell you my the items that sold for $25 or more, but I'm also gonna show you the items that sold for $12 or less. And a spoiler alert, there's a lot more that sold for $12 or less and sold for $25 or more. But stick around and see what's selling for me in rural Arkansas. So let's start off. Uh, let's look at my numbers. I had 123 eBay orders, 20 Poshmark orders, and two Macari orders for a total of 145 outgoing orders. And this is way down. I'm used to between 140 and 160 eBay orders. And this is at the low end of the total orders. So I made on eBay $3,145.83 worth of gross sales. And this is everything that came in from sales that I made with the exception of taxes that eBay took out. I had $496.89 worth, worth of Poshmark gross sales. I had $35 worth of Macari gross sales for a total gross sales of $3,000. $677.72. That's still good. Even though it's summer slowdown, that's that's still a good number. I'm happy with that number. I just need to keep that coming in. I had uh, quite a bit of shipping. I had several international orders. And so I had $843.43 worth of shipping. That includes Poshmark. I mean, I'm sorry. That includes eBay. Um, and Pirate Ship, and Pirate Ship is where I ship most of my, well, ship, where I ship all of my international orders. Then eBay fees, I had $398.67, and this includes their um, fees that they take out, plus any promoted listings, and if you're not aware, eBay has gone to a minimum of 2% um, of the listing promoted listing fee so they're, they've just taken off any that you had at just one percent so you'll need to go back and adjust those so that it is two percent minimum the Poshmark fees were 9306 and this included the Poshmark fees plus any kind of shipping discount and the Macari fees were five dollars and twelve cents for a total cost of $1,340.28. I had cost of goods was $279, and that does include all three pl platforms that I sold on. I had a net sales of $2,058.44. Gross average sale price was $25.36 and the net average sale price was $14.20. Um, so that $2,058.44 is what I put in my pocket. I have to pay, out of that, I have to pay my um, this Perfectly fees, my Posture VA fees. Let's see, do I have anything else? Oh, I do have a part, uh, a lady that comes in part-time, but she didn't work this month. She went down to help her daughter move from um, Colorado to Texas. So she wasn't here at all that month. So not, I didn't have any fees taken out. I mean, I didn't have any cost of goods for, a, for her to come help me. So now let's look at what items sold for $25 or more. That doesn't mean I made a profit. It means, excuse my, not my nose has started to start itching. It means that I uh, actually, the sales price came out to be $25 or more. So, 
these are in no certain order. This is just how it came up on my sales. So the highest item that sold for the most amount of money was a J3 top. What's J3? I had no idea. I just knew that it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. It had beautiful embroidery everywhere. And I thought, this is a beautiful top. Well, when I got home and to run comps, I found out it was a Johnny Was top. Yeah. I listed it for like 119 and I got a $99 offer. So I jumped on that. Now, my profit after everything, eBay fees, shipping, everything came out to be $92.37. I was very happy with that. Another item that sold for more than, I got to bring it up on my phone because I done forgot. I've got a list here, but I didn't put the sales price. I just put how much I made. So I'm sorry. Forgive me. First mistake I've made in the past 15 seconds. Okay, so um, was a pair of Clark's shoes. Now these shoes have sold once before, my fault. I had them listed as black, but they're actually burgundy, a beautiful um, burgundy. I went from originally listing them as new to having to do this as used because I didn't know if the lady wore them or not out, so I had to list them as used. They sold for $29.95, and my profit on these was $24.14. I did buy these for $2. The Johnny Was Top, I, I bought for $2, I believe. I'm not sure, I believe it was $2, it might have been a dollar. The next item that sold was a new pair of Polo Golf Ralph Lauren pants. And these sold for $29.95 and I got these from the bins. And that day, I believe my average cost was like $138. Um, they sold for $29.95 and I made a gross, a net profit of $24.50. And that, like I said, I'm taking off the cost of goods and any fees. The next item was a Ralph Lauren denim jacket and this one overseas it sold for $44.95 um, because I ship through pirate ship I always save money on my shipping overseas so the jacket sold for $44.95 but I actually made a profit of $52.53 and this jacket was $3.00 so because I ship with Pirate Ship, if you it doesn't cost anything to ship through Pirate Ship. So if you haven't checked out Pirate Ship, please do. And then you just have to ask, after you get signed up, ask for international shipping and, and they will grant it. Um, I don't know why they don't originally, but MAA may now because it's been two years since I started with Pirate Ship. I love Pirate Ship. Okay, the next item was a pair of born boots. You know how I made money on the last one? Well, these sold for $25, and I had my regular base um, priority shipping at $10.15. Well, these went to Washington State. So, instead of costing me, if I'd have sent them to Texas or wherever, they would cost me between $9 and $10. These cost me $16.12 to mail. I know. So, I was out that money. So I only made a profit of $12.36. If you're just starting out, that was my mistake. I should have had it. I have an upper tier of $12.50 and I still would have lost money, but I wouldn't have lost as much as I did. If you're new to um, the reselling game, uh, which my daughter is, and she's doing real good, but she's doing, um, oh, I can't even think of what you call the shipping that will figure it out for you. I can't. But yes, she does that, and uh, it keeps her from losing money. And, and sometimes I lose money, and sometimes I make money. The next item that sold was a pair of Under Armour pink cleats. These would likely be football or soccer cleats, and they sold for $40.62. And 
and I did buy these on retail arbitrage three years ago. Yes, three years ago. Three, did I tell you I bought these three years ago? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> so I did have retail arbitrage, plus they were a little more expensive to ship, so I made a profit of $28.00. And three cents. It still was great profit. I'm not complaining. The next item was a, I don't know how you pronounce it, was a Hakes, H-A-I-K-S. This was a really cute patriotic red striped um, capri overalls. They were really cute and I thought as soon as I listed them I thought these are gonna sell great. Yeah, no they didn't. I mean they didn't sell bad but they didn't sell fast. I've had these for over a year and a half. So, um, the overall profit on these was $20.89. A great profit. I'm not complaining about that. I'm just complaining because it took so long on something I thought was pretty good. The next item was a pair of Badgley Mishka silver wedge sandals. And they sold for $35.95. These just went pretty well next door and I didn't that doesn't make sense. It says I made a thirty profit of thirty four eighty seven. I don't see that. Maybe it's twenty four eighty seven and I just wrote it down wrong. That would make more sense. Or maybe it was twenty eight eighty seven. Maybe I just typed it completely wrong. Okay. Um, and I did pay for uh, did pay four dollars for these at a thrift store. I'd never seen Bashley Miska, and a lot of y'all talked about it on your YouTube channel, so I bought them. The next item that sold was a spare, pair of Sperry duck shoes, and they sold for $25. I bought these for $3, and I had a gross profit of $18.66. The next item was a pair of vintage Robley black leather monk strap boots. And these sold for $59.95. And see, this is a heavier item than those born boots, but because they went close, I didn't lose money on shipping. I actually made because I did charge them that upper level of the, um, my priority shipping. Um, and I ended up making $47.26 profit on these boots. I've had these a while, but I knew somebody was gonna be looking for them. The next item was whenever I was doing this, it was like, I made that much money on that? <laughs> so it was a Lane Bryant chambray top in a 14, 16, so not a huge size. Um, I got this for myself, but it pulled down a little bit too low and I don't like that. But they did sell, it sold for $25.95, which was full price, and I made a profit of $23.07. The next item that sold was a Lauren Ralph Lauren gold metallic um, cable knit sweater. It was just so pretty. Found this at the bins. I think that day, we're just gonna say $1.50, that's what I set up here, because I couldn't remember even which day, but I remember getting it. And I said it sold for $25. And I made a profit of $23.07. The next item that sold was a, um, a pair of Ariat men's jeans, um, distress for sure. These sold for $28. And I got these at the bins also. So we'll just say $1.50. And I made a profit of $22.37. These were 3430s and, and they actually sold fairly quickly. The next item that sold, the last item that sold for $25 or more was a Big Johnson Texas Hold'em Tournament graphic tee. It, I would have to say this is a bolo. I think I had it listed for like $43.95, but I'd had it. You're willing to sit on it. Maybe just list it a little bit lower. And I sold it for $30 and I paid $2 for this 
and I made a profit of $25.69. So Big Johnson t-shirts, these are vintage. Um, they just kind of have some lewd context to them. So, you know, those are good to pick up, I would say. Okay, the, now these, okay. The next item was a Poshmark sale. It sold for $25. It was a pair of Lauren Ralph Lauren men's dress pants. And I made a profit of $18.50. The next item that sold was also a pair of Ralph Lauren, but these were women's jeans that had a big polo on the back pocket, polo player. And I just thought, oh, these are gonna sell quick. Those are cool. Well, they did sell for a good amount of money, $34. And I did make a profit of $25.48. Yeah, I didn't pay much for them. I think I paid $2. Okay, now let's go back to the eBay item. Now, there are quite a few eBay items that sold for $12 or less. There were no, the good thing is, there were no Poshmark items that sold for $12 or less. So that made me happy. And there were no Etsy orders that sold for $12 or less. They kind of, and the reason, what I do with, I mean, I think I've told y'all this before. I'm going to tell you again, if you're new to this channel, um, is I leave them on eBay for at least a month before I cross post them over to, um, any other platforms. So like if, you know, if I, if that Johnny was had made it through, I would have through a month and I would have listed that over to Poshmark and, and Macari. So a lot of times my sales over there are quite a bit lower because the good items sell that first month and they don't ever get cross posted. It just works out for me. It keeps me from having too many double sales. It happens every once in a while, but it keeps me from having it. So, one of the items that sold for $12 or less was an Ann Taylor. Now, this was a beautiful sweater. I don't know why I took $12 on it, but I did. But I think it had something to do with I had no sales that day. You ever do that and just take a low offer to maybe get sales going? I figure that's what I did. I did make a profit of $10.72 on this sweater, and I paid a dollar at a thrift store. The next item that sold for $12 was a Chico's chambray shirt. Real pretty. It had some um, fading in the middle. It was a cute shirt. I uh, wish it had been my size. I would have kept it. It was a medium. It sold for $12 also. And I made a uh, net profit of $10.30. And I did get this also at a thrift store for a dollar. The next item came to me for free. It was a Jones, New York, extra large, kind of a bright, bright green shirt. And it sold for $10.88. And I made a, because it was free, I made a gross profit of $9.85. Okay, now, I sold a pair of basic editions pants and basic editions. I think these are men's pants come. I think we got them at Kmart back when Kmart was still going. So these were some that we already had and they sold for $10 and I have a gross profit of $9 and six cents. Next item was a pair of H and M shorts. These were a girl's size 16. They were, they were uh, new, but they were H&M and a girl's. So they sold for $9. I got these in a Goodwill blue box and they sold, I mean, and that would have cost me, I guesstimated about $3. So I had a gross profit or net profit of $5 and 11 cents. Everything sounds like I'm in, I mean, when I talk, I'm in a barrel this year has lots of fluid on it. This ear has some fluid on it and it's driving me crazy. Any suggestions as to how to get rid of that fluid would be much appreciated. Okay, the next item that sold was a grand and green uh, extra large blue geometric top. I, I got this for myself. I wore it a little bit. 
but it just wasn't that comfortable. It wasn't big and blousy like I like my tops. So it sold for $10.96 and I made $8.63 worth of profit. I did pay a dollar for this. The next item was an Adidas uh, FC Dallas soccer shirt. It really wasn't a jersey. It was just a shirt that you would support your team. It's a large. It sold for $9.50. I got this at the bins. I got two of them at the same time. They were right there together. I'd already sold the other one, I think, for like 14. This one was nine. I said, let's go. And I made $8.45 profit. The next item that sold was a pair of L.L. Bean shorts. And again, I'm not sure why I let these go so cheaply, but I did $11.86. Um, I paid $2 for these, so my profit on these was $8.66. You see, there's a lot of low, low profit items here. But you know what? They add up. They add up. So, if you're one that has to do most of your thrifting in a rural area, you know, don't say, oh, I can't do this because... I don't find these high-end shirts. Well, I found that Johnny Was top just at a local thrift store. So, you might find one. But even if you don't, you know, buy mystery boxes. Sometimes there's some good things in that. Go to your thrift store and get those bread and butter items. You can do it. You just have to set your mind to it. And you may have to sell 10 uh, Ann Taylor items. And every once in a while, you might find that Johnny was when you just sell that one. So, I mean, anybody can do this. I encourage you to do it. It's fun. Yes, it can be exhausting, but it's fun. And I think my daughter just got here. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Um, the next item that sold was a Tommy Hill figure, short sleeve blue shirt. I bought this forever ago. Forever. I mean, like forever. So when some, so when somebody offered me ten dollars, I jumped at it. I ended up making a profit of seven dollars and forty-one cents. Tommy Hilfiger, unless it's just special, really doesn't sell for a lot. The next item. Now, this was sent to Norway. This shirt was sent to Norway. It's a BCBG Max Azria Born to Dance shirt. When she offered me, I think I had it listed for like $17.99. When she offered me $10, you know, first off, I was going to click my counteroffer. But then I noticed she was in Norway, and I thought, okay, you're going to make the difference up in shipping profit. And if you counter her, she may, she may just ghost you and go away. So I was like, I had to decide, what are you going to do? Because it was a cute shirt. I took the offer. That was $10. But because it was shipped internationally, I made money on shipping. So I actually made $22.13 worth of profit on this $10 sale. If you're not shipping internationally, I suggest you do it. I don't do go through the uh, global shipping program. I do it myself. I've had one issue. You know, I don't know how many I ship probably. Um, five to ten a month and so let's say I've been doing that pirate ship for three years you know that's a quite a bit and I've had one issue one issue I had another one try to be an issue but then it got there the next day it was pretty amazing <laughs> so so don't if you're not doing global shipping I mean if you're not doing international shipping I suggest you do the next item was a Ruby Road extra large top. It was lace and it had a um, just a white undershirt, attached undershirt, and it had no tags, no tags at all. But you could see just that little gold strip that indicates Ruby Road. And so, uh, you know, no tags and everything. And I picked it up because I liked it, but I was able to sell it and still make a profit. It only sold for $9.32, but I still made a profit of $7.69. The next item that sold was a box office button-up men's shirt, 
and it sold, let's see if I can tell, I don't know what it sold for. It sold for not much, sold for $12 or less, and I got this for a dollar. Oh, that Ruby Road, it was free. So, um, this I got for a dollar, so I made a profit of $8.37. The next item that sold was a Laveau top, and it was a 1XL, and it sold for $10. And after uh, shipping and my cost of a uh, dollar, and I made $9.31. You might say, Lisa, how are you doing this? Well, I do have flat rate shipping. And for everything 12 and 12 ounces and below, I usually charge 505. For everything above 12 ounces, so up to 16 ounces, then I charge 645. And so sometimes I'm off on my my guesstimation as to cost. And sometimes I make a little money. The next item that sold was a torrid top really pretty toward top i good i had i bought four toward tops the same day for 50 cents each i listed three of them just immediately and the one needed to be washed it had a not a i mean it had a perfumey smell and so i washed it well dummy me when it came out of the washer i or out of the dryer i put it immediately into my having been measured pile which it wasn't. So whenever I went to look for this one, thinking I only had one torrid um, black shirt um, for sale, I didn't even look, I just pulled it. And so when she got it, she was like, no, I don't, you know, that's not the one I want. She was super nice though, and we arranged. I sent her a, a, um, a new, an envelope that was already, um, had postage on it and everything to send back to me the other shirt and then I sent this one and ended up I did not make any money because I did but you know what I got a happy customer who wrote me a very nice review so you know, sometimes even when you screw up just admit you screwed up and take care of it don't try to get around it. the next item that sold was a pair of New York and Company shorts these came to me in a um, Goodwill box, and I paid so I paid three dollars for them, and they sold for ten ninety six. So my profit was six dollars and thirty six cents. The next item was actually um, two items. He bought both of my remaining um, nursing bottle Playtex nursing bottles, and so to both of them together cost twelve dollars. Plus he paid shipping. Okay, first off, you may notice that I don't look exactly the same as I did just a few seconds ago in this video. Well, when I was filming it the, yesterday, it just cut off and nothing showed up in my photos, which was driving me crazy. So I didn't want to continue on. I, I figured it was because I was out of memory and I could just delete some other information, but the video wasn't showing up. So I didn't want to finish it if neither one of them were going to show up. But thankfully, this morning, like 24 hours later, it showed up. So now I had the first part of the video. I'm going to finish the second part. Okay, so the next item that sold for uh, $12 or less was a rose and olive uh, pullover multicolored top, real lightweight, nice. Um, it sold for $11. I paid $1, um, uh, sorry, I cost me $1 to buy it. I'm kind of out of it, can you tell? And I had a gross, a net profit of $8.95. Sorry, it's take, it'll take me a little bit to get back in the swing of it. It always does. The next item that sold was an Izod saltwater pair of men's green shorts. They were real nice, but Izod just really doesn't sell that well. And so they sold for $11.96. And I paid $2 for these, so I had a profit of $8.03. The next item that sold was an Agnes and Dora top. And this, 
their their uh, clothing kind of feels like LuLaRoe. It's got that soft feel. I'm not sure if this is a multi-mark, multi-marketing, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if it's that or what it is, but it sold for a whopping eight dollars, and I got it for free, and so I made a profit of seven dollars and twenty-five cents. The next item that sold for $11.95 was a Build-A-Bear Siberian Husky, and it sold for $11.95, like I said, and um, it cost me a dollar, and I made $9.69 profit. The next item that sold was a Woman Within Dress, and this came free to me from my daughter-in-law, and it sold for $11, and, um, like I said, it came free, so I had a gross profit of $10.35. And the last item that sold for $11.95 or less was an Amazing Grace Caruso um, top, and it had a Bible verse, so it was real pretty. It was kind of a salmon color, real pretty, but it sold for $11, and by the way, it came free to me, and I made a gross pop, a net profit of $8.89. So... Those were my sales for June, my good ones and my not so good ones. But the good thing is, you know, every bit of that that I just told you was profit, except for that one goof up I made, but everything else was profit. So I think that's pretty good. Yes, yeah, some of these you might not be willing to, to mess with. If you only get um, $7.69 in profit, you, you probably aren't willing to mess with it. But you know, sometimes we buy things thinking we're going to get a lot more profit than what we do. When in reality, when we look at it, it maybe wasn't as good as we thought. And so we have to sell it for less. So you're going to have those items that you have to sell for less money. But if you can think of it as still being profit, you're doing well. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos by me, if you want to see more um, unboxings, if you want to see my July numbers when they come out, if you want to see um, haul videos, if you want to see what's sold, if you want to see all of that, then please hit the subscribe button. But I need you to do me one favor today. I need you to go out and find your Read It 